Hi all, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 3 in SQL Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to identify duplicate records in a SQL table. So let's see the requirement in details. So here is our table called customer table where we have three columns called customer ID column and name and email column. Okay, so we have entries for customer ID and customer name and customer email ID. Okay, so you can see this is uh, the uh, ID column is having unique records. Uh, there are five records in it and that is having unique values uh, because it is a primary key column. Okay, and if you uh, notice the second and third column which is name and email uh, columns uh, there you can see the entries are uh, for name john sam tom bob and tom so here you can see the value tom has been repeated in this column and similarly in the email id column you can see the entries are john at the rate asd.com then asd at the rate asd.com then again asd at the rate asd.com then bob at the rate asd.com and then asd at the rate asd.com again so if you notice asd at the rate asd.com is having three entries okay so these are the duplicate records in email id column and if we combine the name and email id both together then how many duplicate entries we have there is one for tom and asd at the rate asd.com similarly this one is having the exact <coughs> same values for name and email id column so what we want is we want to identify the duplicate entries in two ways first is we just want to see what are all the email ids which are having more than one values okay so if you see we want to get this kind of output that is we want to identify all the duplicate records for email id column alone and then we want to identify all the duplicate records for the combination of name and email id column so let's try to write the SQL queries to identify the duplicates for single column first and then for the combination of multiple columns. So let's go to SSMS. So here we have the table called customer table. Okay, customers table. So you can see the records here. It is the same record present in the PPT. Okay, now we want to identify the duplicates for email ID column alone. So we want to see all the email IDs which are having duplicate entries. So let's write the SQL queries to identify the duplicate based on the email ID column first. So first of all, we will group by using the email ID column and we will get the count of each of the email IDs. Okay. So we have done it in the previous video. Please go through that to understand it in a more better way. So first of all, we will use select and then the column name, which is email ID. And then we will use count star. Okay to get the count of the email IDs. Okay, so we need to give an alias name for this column and then from which table we want it? We want it from the customers table and then we will apply group by on top of the email ID column itself. Okay, now we will get the count of all the email IDs present in that particular table. So you can see <coughs> uh, ASD at the rate ASD.com is having count as 3. Bob at the rate ASD.com is having count as 1. And then John at the rate ASD.com is having count as 1. Okay, so these are all the email IDs grouped together and we have got the count of each of those email IDs. And if you see what are the email IDs which are having more than one record is the email ID which is having duplicate entries. And for this data set, there is only one email ID which is having count which is greater than 1. That is ASD at the rate ASD.com which is having count as 3. So there are 3 entries for this particular email ID. So now to get the uh, records which are duplicated, we need to filter out by using having clause. Okay. So now we will write having count star greater than 1. So now if I run this, it will just give me this particular entry, which is the duplicated entry for email ID. Okay. So you can see we are getting the filtered out record where it is telling that ASD at the rate ASD.com email ID is present more than once in the data set. Okay. So we are done with the first requirement of getting the duplicated email IDs. 
So now in the second requirement, we want to get all the duplicate entries for the combination of name and email ID. So to do that, we will just include name in the list of columns, okay, in the select statement as well as in the group by clause. So let me add name. And now if I execute the query till this point, you can see it has grouped by with the combination of name and email ID. So you can see all the combination of name and email ID are having unique value except for Tom and email ID ASD at the rate ASD.com. So we need to filter out this particular record, which is basically the duplicate record and it is having two entries in the table. Okay, so if we run the whole query, you can see we got the output as Tom email ID is ASD at the rate ASD.com, which is the duplicate entry for the combination of name and email ID. So that's what is the expected output as you can see here. Okay, so to summarize, if you want to get the duplicate entries, you need to group by by those particular column. It might be a single column or it might be a combination of multiple columns or it might be all the columns present in the table. So based on the requirements, if you want to check the duplicate entries for single column or multiple columns, you can give the column list here and then you need to get the count of the records by using count function and then use the group by clause on top of the same columns present in the select list. And then whatever the results this query will return, we want to filter out only those records which are having count greater than one, which means it is a duplicate record. So to do that, we are using having clause because in order to filter, we also use where clause, but where clause cannot be used along with the aggregate function or along with the group by. Okay, if you see, if I try to use where here, it will throw an error. You can see. It is saying incorrect syntax near keyword where okay it's giving this error because where needs to be used before group by so even if i use where before group by where count star greater than one so suppose if i run this it gives an error saying an aggregate may not appear in the where clause unless it is a subquery contained in having clause or a select list and the column being aggregated is an outer reference so what it means is if suppose you are having this this particular okay this particular as uh, query as a sub query okay so suppose select star from and if i give it as a sub query okay i will tell you what is a sub query in the upcoming videos but i'm just for a reference trying to remove that error as say sub query and then if I use where clause count is greater than okay count is greater than one and if I try to run this now so you can see this is giving the correct result so basically we cannot directly use where clause on top of group by we need to make it a sub query and then we can use where clause or else the best way is to use having as we had done it okay so using having we can get the duplicate records because we are using group by and the aggregate function so we can use having clause to filter out the record okay so this is the syntax to get the duplicate records in a sql table okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you find this video helpful please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you